Headlines in the news do more to terrify than they do to clarify. And we're starting to hear some, some naysayers saying it's not the right time to buy. It's, um, it, it's a bubble where, you know, we, it's just like back in 2006, 2007, 2008. That's not necessarily true. And nobody has a crystal ball, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of people out there who are frustrated, thus they're blaming somebody else. They're blaming this situation that we're going to have a real estate market that's gonna repeat what it did in 2006, seven and eight. And the numbers just don't add up. That just does not work right now. And it's a completely different marketplace. It is a supply and demand issue. So where I wanna go with this is I wanna talk about some of the experts, what, they've, what their opinions are, what we can expect to see, and explain to you why now, with a little bit more inventory in the marketplace and a little bit less speed in it, meaning it's taking a little bit longer to sell, you wanna get back in because if you don't, it could end up costing you more in the long run. And here's why. So the first one I wanna point out, this came out from JP Morgan um, and their insights report. They just put this out here. This is their quote. Home buyers, interest rates are still at historically low levels, though they are inching up. Housing prices have spiked during the last six to nine months, but we don't expect them to fall soon. And we believe they are more likely to keep rising. If you are looking to purchase a new home, conditions now may be better than 12 months hence. So they're actually saying that conditions to buy a home when it comes to affordability, when it comes to being able to find the right one and negotiate a little bit are better now than what they were 12 months ago and forecasting that prices are going to continue to rise. 